This is Eric at Universal Radio. I'm KC8VWL, and today we're excited to show you ICOM's new dual band transceiver. Uh, covers two meters and 440, uh, and this is the IC2730A. This is an updated version of their 2720, and I really like a lot of the things ICOM's done with this model. It's a fairly straightforward dual band radio. It's got two receivers in it, separate receive, so you can do VHF and UHF simultaneously, uh, monitor both bands at the same time. It's got separate controls, squelches and volumes for each band. One of the things that jumps out is the, is the big display on this. It's very easy to see for mobile situations. It's one of the nicest displays on a dual band. It's not very busy. Of course, it's 50 watts on both 2 meters and 440. It has the option that you can add in a Bluetooth module. And then that's compatible with their Bluetooth headset. So that makes hands-free operation of this very, very nice. It comes with the head unit. Of course, the main body of the radio and the power cord. You get a uh, 11 and a half foot separation cable, and then you get a backlit keypad microphone, which is nice. It's going to be very easy to see in low light conditions. It gives you everything to start out with. One thing, though, you got to keep in mind when you buy this radio is it does not come with any mobile brackets. So you got to look at the optional accessories and decide how you want to mount it. If you're going to be doing a mobile installation with a remote head, you're going to want to buy the bracket for the radio body and then the brackets and the mounting suction cup for the head unit. If you're going to mount the head unit to the body of the radio, you're going to need ICOM's head mounting bracket kit, which gives you a short jumper cable for the control head and a faceplate to mount on the body of the radio that you can attach the unit to. The head unit and the body of the radio both have a microphone connection, and you can use either or. So if you're mounting it remotely, you can just plug the mic right into the side of the head unit, if you're going to be mounting it directly to the body, you can plug it into the side of the display as it's here. So it, it gives you a lot of versatility, and remote mounting this is a lot less wires to run because you don't have to worry about microphone extensions. Uh, on the back of the radio, you can see that uh, its, its whole chassis is made out of uh, one block of aluminum. It's very well ventilated to help keep it cool. Also on the side over here, there's a, a, a data port for connecting it up for cloning and programming, and an external speaker jack on the back. Please check back on our website for the most current information, and that's www.universal-radio.com.